channel. Now as you can see I'm wearing a slightly jazzy and may I say slightly Christmassy jumper and despite the fact that it may be way too early for Christmas jumpers it isn't too early to choose yourself a very nice advent calendar. Now there's so many advent calendars out there that you can get now. There's not just chocolate ones anymore. You can get beauty, you can get candles, you can get gin. Now me, I like the beauty advent calendars and I have had one the last few years and I got sent one recently and I featured it in one of my vlogs and so many of you asked for an unboxing that I decided that I would film an unboxing. Hence the slightly festive jumper and the slightly lame attempt at some fairy lights to sort of be festive. So I thought along with a cup of tea and a couple of chocolate biscuits, I would show you the Glossy Box Advent Calendar, which is this absolute beauty. Look, it's literally the same colour as my wall. It's like camouflaged. For some people, this is going to ruin what's inside. Obviously, don't necessarily watch the video. This is going to be the entire contents of the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I am going to open all... I think it's 24 doors, maybe it's 25. Anyway, I'm gonna open all the doors and show you everything that's inside and a quick talk on each product. So if you don't want any spoilers of what is inside the calendar, then I would suggest this maybe is not the video for you. If you do, then obviously keep watching. Okay, so first things first, let's talk price. The Glossy Box Advent Calendar is £99 to purchase if you are a uh, just a normal customer. If you are a Glossy Box subscriber or you subscribe and then purchase the Advent Calendar, it is £75. Now the contents are said to be worth over £300 with some amazing brands inside, which is why I am super excited to open it. And I believe that it is a nice mix of beauty as well as I think there might be some beauty tools and things in here as well, but we shall see when we open it. But yeah, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's huge. I mean, it's absolutely huge. Um, it's really nice, um, thick card packaging with the double door design with this beautiful ribbon. So they've gone for a classic, a rose gold and pink design. And who doesn't love that? It is absolutely beautiful. It's really thick um, card, feels really, really high quality. It's, it's just stunning. When I opened it, I couldn't quite believe it. And I haven't even opened this yet. So I don't even know what it actually looks like inside. So I'm gonna open up the ribbon. You ready? Ooh, gosh. How stunning is that? So if you can see, it is a, as you, yeah, there we go. It's a double door. Oh, hello. <laughs> So the double door opens up to all these smaller drawers and then number 25 is here on the inside of this door here. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I just think it's stunning and it's so big, which I suppose, because it is pricey, you know, it's one of the more high-end advent calendars. Um, I mean, advent calendars, you can pick them up from 50 pounds. Well, these kind of advent calendars, beauty ones, 50 pounds to like, I mean, the Joe Malone one, I think is 300 pounds. Um, so, you know, this sits in the slightly higher end, but obviously by the end, once I've opened everything, we'll really be able to decide if it's uh, value for money. So yeah, so there's all these little separate boxes. It kind of reminds me a bit of the Marks and Spencers uh, advent calendar, if you ever had that. That was a series of boxes which you pull out and open every day. The brilliant thing about this design is, and I actually did this with the Marks and Spencers Advent Calendar, was I kept it, I kept the outer, and I kept all the um, smaller boxes, and I actually refilled it, and I gave it to my mum. Not the year after, actually, it was the year after that. I filled it up with products, and then my mum opened it every day in December, and she loved it. So I definitely think that this is another one that you could do that with. I also think that you could utilise the box... Um, display without the smaller boxes in and you could store stuff in it or I mean there's loads of things you could do with it because it's just oh, oh. anyway so that's the design over so there is um, 25 sections 
Okay, so let's start with number box number one, which is this little oh little one here. So yeah, just little all little individual cardboard boxes that are all numbered. Now I'm gonna try and open these neatly. So like I said, I can maybe refill it for somebody when you got black fluffy stuff in there. Okay, so behind box number one is a brilliant brand and that is NARS. So we've got a NARS, I think this looks like a mini size, velvet lip fondant, velvet lip fondant. Um, it's in the colour Burning Love. Yeah, nice sort of pinky colour. I think I'd say that's um, a mini size, but that is an absolutely um, brilliant brand to have in there. This is really good for me because I'm not a huge lipstick wearer. I much prefer a liquid lipstick that's either matte or um, semi-sheer, and I much prefer a mini size because I don't wear them that often. I don't really make my way through um, full-size lipstick. So I also get the feeling that this black stuff is going to go everywhere so my carpet's going to be a bit of a mess okay so that's item number one so then box number two is this little box it's inside of this oh another great brand so inside this box we have nip and fab if you haven't tried nip and fab nip and fab i do really really recommend them their products are really good for anti-aging and just general like skin looking amazing. So this is Nip and Fab's Hydrate Range Dragon Blood Fix Plumping Serum. Now that sounds good to me because I think we could all do with slightly um, fuller skin, especially as we get older, your skin it loses its fullness and that's why everybody talks about products needing to help plump up your skin. So that's the 30ml product, so again I would say that that's probably a mini size I would think, but really good for testing out products, plenty there to get good use out of as well and again a really really good brand. So, so far I am very impressed. So then we're going to open number three, number three is a slightly bigger box. Oh, ooh, and this feels quite heavy as well. Now, I think I might know what this is. This is what I was saying earlier about uh, me liking the mix of products in the Glossy Box calendar, that they're not all beauty. There's actually a couple of more like, I guess you'd call them lifestyle products. And this is one of my favorite brands for these kind of products. And that is a Yankee Candle. I mean, it ain't Christmas without a Yankee candle, I don't think. So this is the Sen Season of Peace. It's one of the little mini um, jar styles with the little clip lid. Mm. And it's not overly Christmassy, but of course you're only up to day three of December. So you're just, you're trying to get more of it in a wintry mood, I would say. And that is a perfect smell, kind of like a snowy snowy smell. I'd be really happy opening that on December the 3rd. Like I said, I do love beauty products, but I think all beauty products can be a bit like, oh my god, what am I going to do with all of these mini beauty products? How am I going to work my way through them? So it's nice, I think, to break it up with a more lifestyle product. So yeah, so now number four in rose gold packaging. Okay, another good brand. Now, and I'm pleased that this is the product it is and not a different one. So this is Philip Kingsley. Whenever I seem to get Philip Kingsley in um, advent calendars or beauty boxes, whatever, it is always the product, I think it's called Swim Cap, which is a holiday product and I think is one of the most famous products. I've never used it. It's one of those things you're supposed to put on to protect your hair in the sun or the pool and I just never use it. This is a conditioner. And, you know, everybody needs conditioner at some point. This is a really good size to take away on holiday. This is a 60ml product, or you can put it in your bag for the gym. Um, plenty there to get a proper use at it as well. I don't like it when mini sizes are, are only enough for, like, one go, because then you can't really judge whether you like a product or not. So, yeah, and again, a really, really good brand. I mean, from what I'd read, this Glossy Box Advent Calendar is filled with some really, really good brands, and I think this is another one. So, okay, so number five is another long, thin one. Oh, I can see some in gold. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, right. Okay, now, this is a brand I've not heard of. This is a mascara. 
It's called Greater Than Mascara and it looks like it's a brand called MDM Flow. Never ever heard of that. But I must confess, I do like trying new mascaras. But yeah, I'm, I don't know anything about this brand, so I'd be really interested to try it. So that's day number five. Let's find day number six. Aha, it's this little box here. Now, I actually get Glossy Box every month, so a few of these brands, which you might not have heard of, I have actually tried because they've been in one of my just general monthly Glossy Boxes. This is one of those brands. Um, so this is a lip primer, but I have no idea how you pronounce this brand. <laughs> so it's a little um, lip primer. There you go. So that'll be an interesting product to try, especially because obviously there are lipsticks in the box as well. So you can pair a couple of products together. Okay, now we're going for number seven. Ah, now this brand is lovely. This is Patisserie de Bain. I think that's how you say it and they're all kind of uh, like French patisserie scented things and they smell incredible so this is a 50 ml bath and shower cream in the scent strawberry cupcake and it smells oh 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 god it smells lovely that is so nice um, again, a good size, not too bad to pop in your shower. And like I said, a really, really lovely smell. Quite sweet. So if sweets maybe it's not your thing, it might not be your cup of tea. God, we're going to be here all day, aren't we? I think I need a little, um, a little sip of my tea. Number eight, right at the top. Aha! So we have one of our first, um, beauty tool. Uh, looks like it's from a brand called RT200. I've not heard of them before. It's Real Techniques, isn't it? Ah! RT Real Techniques. Uh, this is the Expert Foundation Brush. So that's good. I always like makeup brushes. I mean, I wash mine, but eventually you get to a point where you have to like bin them and get rid of them. It's a nice little brush to add to a collection. So then we're going to move on to number nine. And in here is, oh, Charles Worthington, another good brand. And um, this is the Volume and Bounce Body Booster Mousse, collagen enriched. Now, I don't need any extra body in my hair. I have so much hair, but I do use mousse. I think that's a good little size. Um, it's classed, well, it's called a takeaway size, so it's definitely a mini size. It's 50 ml little mousse. Then number 10. Now, number 10 looks like a very excitingly large box. So this is a Bare Minerals product. It is Skin Longevity Vital Power, can't even speak, Vital Power Infusion. Yes, but what is it? <laughs> Don't you hate it when products like, they have too much on them, but you can't, it doesn't just say what it is. Like, what is it? Basically, it's an infusion that helps to reawaken and maintain your skin's vibrant look of health. Help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles powered by long life herbs. So it's a serum. So, but it takes the whole of reading the inside of the booklet to find out that it's a serum. So what you get is a little card with some information on it. And there is a little tube of serum in here. There we go. Now, if you know anything about serum, serums go super far. So this is 7.5 mil, which doesn't seem like a lot but that will last quite a while. I think you'd be surprised. I'd be interested to try that. I always like trying new um, potions and lotions and things. So um, yeah, I'll definitely give that a go. Now, number 11. Okay, so this is a brand I've never heard of. So this is a brand called Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Uh, so this is a bit like, do you remember Lip Coat? So Lip Coat was a product that you put on and, and it was it stopped your lipstick from disappearing. I'm guessing this is the same thing. So it's Kiss Proof Lip Finisher. You put it on top of your lipstick. Um, but it's been it's designed to be used on top of other Kiss Proof Lip Creams uh, to add a glossy shine and moisture. So I wonder if there is a Kiss Proof Lip Cream in there or whether you can just use this on top of any other lipstick. So... Mm, not sure about that one because it's not a brand that I've heard of, but again, I like to try all these things, so I'll definitely give that a go. And now we're going to move on to number 12. 12 is quite a big box, isn't it? I suppose you're halfway through the month, you need a large pick-me-up. Now, number 12 is a whole palette. So it's an MUA Makeup Academy palette. 
Now I used to buy MUA, um, I used to use it at the theatre where I worked partly because it was so cheap and also because they did a lot of matte colours and you can't really use shimmery colours in the theatre because the um, theatre lights pick up on the glitter and it's just like zing zing zing. Haven't bought from there for a while because um, I do prefer slightly more expensive makeup now if I'm honest. Uh, but this palette does look really really nice. Um, it's got some um, interesting colours in there, some very bright colours, ever so slightly scary colours to me. I mean look at that, it's like a hot pink. I mean I always found them fairly good pigmenting, Makeup Academy. But it's a shame it's not a, a slightly higher end brand, but I suppose for a whole palette, um, I suppose it would be maybe not realistic to expect a whole palette from a high end brand. But Worth a try if you're not afraid of those colours. I'm probably a bit too afraid of those colours, so I will more than likely add that to my give to people at Christmas pile. So I was unlucky 13. Let's hope it isn't unlucky. Slightly bigger box again. Ooh, so another beauty tool. So this is a charcoal age defence sponge for combination skin. Perfect for daily cleansing, our naturally alkaline, extra soft sponges will gently exfoliate and purify the skin. It stimulates blood flow and encourages skin regeneration. Well, that sounds interesting. Um, and I'm trying to get so much better at cleansing now and doing it properly. So actually, I'm quite interested to try that. So inside, oh, hello. Very hard. But they are, aren't they, until you get them wet. It's like a natural sponge. Yeah, like a natural textured sponge. I'll be really interested to try that actually. Okay, cracking through it now. Number 14. Oh, this one's heavy. This is very heavy. And um, a fairly largish box. I wonder what 25 is going to be. 25 obviously is like one of the best ones, isn't it? Oh, this looks like a full size product. Yeah, it is. So this is a concentrated restoring mask now is this for your hair yeah so this is refibra hair care i love hair masks because i dye my hair so i always work my way through hair masks i like to try out different ones this one's supposed to be restructuring with seaweed and high nourishing power for damaged hair so that'll be really good for mine that's 100 ml so that's definitely a full size product as well so that's really really good to get a full size product in there 15 so 15 is a little bit smaller this is another lip product funny really because i'm not somebody who necessarily does a lot with my lips but i noticed that when i was in um paris with emma when i watched back my vlog my lips just constantly looked really really dry and unhappy and I know it's because the camera's HD and then you see yourself on a screen close up, but I did think, mm, maybe I need to moisturise my lips more. So this is by Ink Credible. This is a Jelly Shot Lip Quencher Intense Hydrant. And this is really interesting actually, because it's got little flecks of like gold in the end. Oh gosh, yeah, look at that. Wow, so you see all the gold flecks in there and then there's actually inside of the lipstick there, there's a little flower. That's incredible. Shall I just try it on my lips now? Mmm, well, it feels nice. Whether it's any better than a lip balm, I don't know, but I shall use it and report back, everyone. I think so 16 is a little small one. This is from a brand called Pop Beauty. Now, this is one of those little pots of pigmented colour. So it's like a powder colour. And I always like the idea of these. And you would think, with me being a trained makeup artist, that I would know how to use these. <laughs> but I don't really. And they always end up, they always seem to end up going everywhere. However, that copper colour is absolutely beautiful. And I think for a sort of coppery, smoky eye, that would be amazing. So I may have to look into um, how you use this stuff. Maybe it'd be interesting to do another video, like testing out loads of these products as well. So let me know if that's something that you guys wanna see. I've seen other people use these and they look amazing. But like I said, as you know from my beauty clear out video, I'm not particularly adventurous when it comes to eyeshadows and things. So 
Um, I think that's why products like that just don't get used. So we're on to 17, we're cracking through now. Long and thin, 17. It's like a bingo collar, isn't it? Oh, I can see something lilac. I think this is another brush. Yes, it is. So this is from a different brush brand. This isn't Real Techniques, this is Luxy. This is from Luxy Beauty. Look at that, Look how soft that looks. So it says that this is a tapered highlighter brush. Oh, that's interesting. So you can do very gentle highlights, really beautiful colour. Um, and usually with Glossy Box, most of these brands, the brushes are cruelty free. So I'm hoping that that is the case with all of these products. That seems like a nice addition to my brush collection. I actually have a fan brush for my highlighter, but because my highlighter is a stick, I never use it. So I don't know what I would use this for, but quite often I don't use the brushes for what it says they're for. I like to just use them for what feels nice. So 18 big boxes for some of these products are really quite small, but I know that they make the calendar so big because if you add up the value of all the products, that's why the calendar is so expensive. And I think these companies want it to be like a really luxurious experience. And I suppose if it was tiny little boxes and the whole calendar was quite small, maybe it wouldn't feel luxurious. However, this is a lot of packaging. So if you don't refill it, like I'm going to, make sure you recycle it. So in there is Lollipops Paris Fluid Glowy. Oh, it's a fluid highlighter. I was just saying how I don't have any highlighters apart from stick ones. Yeah, that's a little mini size, I think. I wouldn't believe that that's um, a full size and I've not actually heard of this brand before, uh, Lollipops, so I can't talk to you necessarily about the quality. That's a nice little pro product. If you're getting close to Christmas now, so where are we up to? Up to 18th of December. We were probably talking Christmas parties, so yeah, you could dabble that on your cheeks, ready for a Christmas party. So now we're going for number 19. Oh, lovely. Cool. Now, I really like this brand. I do, when I normally get products from this brand, I quite often give them to my mum. I'm actually going to keep this one because I actually want it myself. So this is Crabtree and Evelyn hand cream. It's a, it's the best brand, I think, for hand cream. Their smells are amazing, they're not greasy, and they do these really, really nice sort of handbag size. This is their rose water and pink peppercorn hydrating hand cream, So, which I just think that sounds lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pop that. I've been noticing recently when I go to London to events, I get halfway there on the train and my hands are just dry as anything because I've washed them like just before I've gone out. So I'm going to chuck that in my handbag. So in the last few days of December now, we're up to number 20. Okay, this would be such a nice thing to open, um, I think. I do think it's a lot of money. Um, so, um, you know, they're not for everyone. Uh, I can't say that I um, afforded one every year, but I do tend to save my money for one of the better ones. And uh, so far I am really impressed with this one. I think if you like the brands that you get in your glossy box, it will be a really, really good calendar for you. So this is a Steve Laurent product. I've had Steve Laurent before in my glossy box and I love the rose gold packaging. It's a lip gloss in quite a nice um, autumny color, quite dark for me, but I will, I'll give this a go for autumn. It's quite pretty. So yeah, quite happy with that little product. Definitely give it a try. Okay, and then um, 21. 21st of December. I wonder where I'll be on the 21st of December. Seems so far away, doesn't it? Ah, a brand I love. This is a great product. So this is Pixie, you know how much I love Pixie. This is just their, one of their blushes, but their blushes are lovely. They're a really nice flush of color. They're really good um, pigmented quality. This one's lovely. This is called Beach Rose. I don't actually have this one. Um, and it is kind of a dusky, slightly darker pink. So perfect for autumn, winter. This is a full size product, I believe pretty sure that's a full size product so that's a really really good thing to have in there because pixie is amazing quality um i love all of their products i'm really happy to have that that's fabulous t2 22 and then i'm gonna have a quick sip of tea the lens dr marco lens transformer instant renewal mask well that's I wonder what it'll transform me into uh, I'm guessing this is one of those just um, face masks that you put on in the morning, leave on for 10 minutes and then wash off. But yeah, instant renewal. 
I don't know if it's what it's got in it, it hasn't got any of the ingredients on the back but it's a little 10 mil size so I don't think it's a full size I would say that that's a mini but I'll be interested to find out some more about that and try that out. Last few days of Christmas so Christmas Eve Eve 23rd everybody be running around desperately trying to buy their Christmas presents <gasps> Ooh. okay this looks good at first I thought it was something else and was like oh I've already got this but no this is Ico so I have the big chunky eyeliner from Ico which is lovely I also have a skinny one from Ico which is also really nice this is actually a big chunky eye crayon and I love these kind of products because I, like I said, I'm not that adventurous with my eye colour and chunky eye cranes are just really easy to just do. You put it all over your eye, use your finger to make it look a little bit smudgy, put some mascara on and that is it, done. This is um, in the colour, anyway, I'll show you it. It's kind of like a taupey colour. Uh, it's really, really nice. I think that's going to be really, really good for just a really, really simple I look so yeah super happy super really really happy with that actually that'd be a really quick one again for Christmas parties so Christmas Eve God. 24 24 what do you guys do on Christmas Eve I don't know what I'm going to be doing this Christmas Eve I'm going to go home I think and see my family um, for Christmas so I'm thinking probably Christmas Eve I'll be with my mum and my dad my sister and we'll probably be playing some board game and drinking wine but that's fine with me <laughs> okay so this is another brand i've not heard of so this is mitchell and peach this is fine radiance face oil instantly absorbed with powerful natural antioxidants and vitamins face oils are one of those things you either love them or you hate them but you can just drop a couple of drops into your normal moisturizer to make your normal moisturizer a bit richer so uh, don't be too scared of them uh, I'd be interested to try this. It sounds like it's got some nice um, ingredients and I, I kind of like the whole old medicine bottle style. So we're on to the final window, number 25, which is here on the side. Now, I don't know how I get in this. I have to put the camera down to get in this. You know how I was saying, though, that once the calendar's empty, it might be really nice to display stuff in? Because look, when it's empty, you're left with all these shelves. Wouldn't that be nice to just like, you could stand it on your dressing table and just stand like bottles of perfume in it or beauty products. I think that would be a really, really nice way to, um, to reuse it. Aha, I think this might be a palette, everyone. So this will be the pull of this calendar, I think, for most people, because this is a really amazing uh, brand to have in here and quite an amazing product, really. So this is Huda Beauty. I think that's how you say it. It's not a brand that I've actually tried before, um, but it is the Winter Highlight Palette. Um, so I'm gonna open it up and have a look. Now my only thing about highlighter palettes is, as I said, uh, and as you might have seen in my Beauty Clear Up video, I have one highlighter, which is Benefit, What's Up? It's in a stick, you twist it up, you stick it on, and I just, I like the simplicity of it. So I don't often use palettes. However, I mean, this is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. So this is the front of the palette. And these are the colours inside. Powdered highlighters, we've got one called Northern Light, Winter Rose, Arctic Glow, and then Frosted Kiss, which is a really, really only slightly shimmery. Um, this little insert which I'm not really sure of the purpose of that <laughs> and yeah that's the palette itself so I mean I believe that this retails for quite a lot and that's kind of what makes it such a good thing and it's a full size obviously it's a full size product I'm not sure about that one I just don't know if I will use it um so it may um I'm going to put it back in the plastic because it may be that I actually decide to maybe do a bit of a giveaway or something and maybe I could include that palette in the giveaway because I just know it will sit in a drawer and I won't use it because I'm just not that into highlighting um, but really beautiful and a really good thing for the last day to have a full size um, palette in there from such an amazing beauty brand. 
So that's it. That's the entire contents of the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I do hope that you didn't watch it and then get loads of spoilers and now you're really disappointed. <laughs> I did say at the beginning I was going to go through the whole thing. So, But hopefully for some of you that really wanted to see what was inside, either because you were deciding whether to buy it or not, that sort of helped you make a decision. Or just because, probably for the reason that I would watch it, because you're just a bit nosy. I also hope that you people enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please do subscribe if you haven't done already and I'll see you next time for another video.